Welcome, let's look at how to do some basic collisions. So as you can see over here in the example, when I move the player with the arrow keys and it gets too close to the enemy, uh, it ends up resetting back here. But you could have it blow up or do whatever you want it to do. The collision detection that I've used here is a very simple collision detection. Basically what it does is it just measures every frame, uh, or not every frame, every time the update function runs, it measures the distance between the middle of the player and the middle of the enemy. And if that distance gets less than a certain amount, um, it will trigger the collision. So you can sort of think of this as being like uh, the enemy being a bit of a circle and the uh, player being a bit of a circle. And if those circles touch, it's not perfect, but it's good enough to get definitely good enough to create some uh, simple arcade type games. So how does it work? Well, uh, you can see up here, I have uh, initialized a player object and an enemy object, uh, but that's not necessarily what's colliding in your game. It might be a power up or something like that and the player. And basically the update function is the really important thing here. Uh, I've made a function for player movement. Don't worry about that. It just means that I've moved the player movement out into a different file. Okay, but that's not what I'm trying to show you now. This is the important bit, checking the collisions. So we can say if distance, and then you give the first object, the player, the X and the Y position, and then the second object, in this case, the enemy, the X and the Y position. So that function will return uh, the, the distance in uh, pixels between the two um, objects in the game. And I've just said, if that's less than 35, then run init, which just means start the whole program again. You might want to do something else. You might want to put the points up, etc., etc. But uh, if it's less than 35. So you might ask me, how do I not know what number to put here? And the answer is try some different numbers. Try 30. So for example, if I try here um, 65, then you'll notice that it disappears well before it actually hits the enemy. If I put 15, then there's quite a bit of overlap before I actually hit it. So I did some trial and error and I found out that 35 was just about perfect for a collision. Anyway, I hope that's helpful. Just a reminder, if you haven't seen the other videos that um, things like this, the distance function is not built into Micro Studio. Uh, I've got it in helpers file. This is, this is it. It uses um, some Pythagore Pythagoras' theorem. And um, if you want to get this function, you don't have to copy it. Uh, you can simply go into explore, go to this games prog library, search for it and click import source file and you'll get all of the functions that I've given to you for this unit that might help you.